Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the British Darts Organisation, welcome to finals day of the 2018 BDO World Trophy. We're at Preston Guildhall and we're about to get our men's quarterfinals underway. The first man we bring to the stage is from Northern Ireland, a former HAL Masters champion, the reigning Northern Ireland Open champion, the village man, Kyle McKinstry. We now introduce the man from Scotland, a BDO World Trophy finalist, the reigning British Open champion, the boss, Ross Montgomery. There we are, the first two players on this eventful day uh, on the hockey now and they are two quality players, one from Scotland, this guy Carl McKinstry from Northern Ireland, 31 years of age from Moygashel in County Tyrone and this man, the boss, Ross the boss, the number six seed from uh, East Kilbride and uh, they have been in terrific form to reach this stage with Wins for Montgomery over Daniel Day and Ryan Hogarth, his compatriot. And wins for McKinstry over John Worsley, the Welshman, and Scott Mitchell, the former world Thank champion. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, first leg, it's Kyle getting to us throw underway first. then. Game on. Let's hope we get a few more spectators later on. But anyway, those of you watching at home or wherever you're watching, do enjoy the fair. It's going to be really good fun. 60. Yeah, very good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to 99. the BDO World Trophy. Stephen Jameson here joining John Gwynn on the commentary for you this afternoon. And as John quite rightly said, we should be in for a belter. And if you weren't sure already, that just sets the tone for what hopefully is going to be a cracking day of darts. These two have been in really good form. 140. Here's Montgomery has got through very very nicely 6-3 is Daniel Day 6-2 against Ryan Hogarth yesterday been in very very fine 100. Carl McKinstry hit round one's highest average in his win against John Worsley in round one in round two he knocked off Scott Mitchell 98 Carl you require 161 this would be some way to get your first leg of the quarterfinals mind not going to do it now you expect to be back though, 54. barring something Russia special. Yes, his highest finish in the tournament is 112 in that victory over Ryan Hogarth. 60. Carl, you require against Daniel Day in the first round. Carl McKinstry looking at 107. Can't finish now. Has had, 67. Uh, two, three, 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 Looking at 68 to take that early lead, gets the treble 20, looks at double four, looks at double two. 64. Well, he only looked at them, he didn't hit them. Carl, you require 10. Yes, he did. 
Game double five is out for McKinstry. Always a difficult Second double that, especially when you've got first. three darts at it. But he did the right thing and attacked it from the off. And he takes the first leg. Ross Montgomery, though, is straight back into his rhythm. 123. First to seven now at the quarterfinal stage. So have added on an extra couple of legs to the best of. 140. Still a very quick format, though. Very slightly, a little bit more wiggle room. 100. One hundred Time for Tom. Charlie Costafine, the young referee, one of the newest on the referee circuit. Eighty three. Oh, Kent. You heard the one about the Englishman that's got the Englishman, didn't you? The referee uh, and the two players on the stage. <laughs> there you are. It's no joke this time, though. Wonderful, wonderful uh, tournament enjoyed by Montgomery. Can't you he, his victory over Daniel Day in the first round was very special, but over Ryan Hogarth in the second round was extra special. 2.23 is average. And, uh, he said, well, one day you play good darts and the next day you can't guarantee you're going to do the same. 50. Car, you require 72. Philosophical outlook uh, on matters. Now tops he wants. And that's the second time he's fallen short on that. Uh, let's see what Montgomery does with tops. That's a really sloppy one, unlike him. One dart then at tops. Game All he needs, thankfully. Got away with that a bit, Ross Montgomery. Only needed one dart, and he squares things up. But, uh, slightly uncharacteristically sloppy start from both players so far. Usually make their, their darting careers off being clinical, this, this pet. Yeah, disappointed with that one, just slightly over pitched into treble seven. And, uh, still early in the day, of course. Although they will have been practicing for some time. 60. Yeah, Ross Montgomery actually said yesterday he's been first on every day of the competition so far. And, and of course, that, that will continue. Whoa, Sorry, that will continue. He's at the top of the list, and uh, therefore, uh, that's the way that the organisers do it. Uh, not all competitions I've been involved in uh, are, are, are done that 26. way. At least we all know where we stand, don't we? Because mm -hmm. uh, Glenn alluded to it. He said, I'm always on last. And uh, of course he will be. The last shall be first. Ninety-nine. And the last. Ross Montgomery there with the game's second maximum. He should be first to the double, but Carl McKinstry is One going with him. So only a ton 40, it looked like that was in for him at camera angle, so he can't finish, so six starts at one, two, four. Could go for the ball, but he's probably going to set this up instead, which he 92. does. He's going to come back for double 16. Sensible stuff, 13 darter beckons. He's had uh, some good darts, 120, 135, so an excellent visit from McKinstry, but to win a leg against the darts. 32 wanted, Game no problem. A 13 data there for uh, Fourth leg. It's Ross to Montgomery first. and the first break of throw of the day. <coughs> and uh, chance, it's best of uh, 13 now, first to seven, slightly longer than the first two rounds. 100. Uh, so, but nevertheless, that first break of throw, all important. He needed it. Having lost the ball in the practice area, then knows that he's got to break through somewhere along the line in order to win the game. Whereas the man who wins the throw knows that he doesn't. Unless, of course, he's broken himself. 
34 darts from McKinstry there. Montgomery 60. doesn't punish him though. Stays pretty close. One hundred and there for one more, and he does indeed get his second one forty of the leg. To move ahead, what's his throw? And there's an opening 35. here for McKinstry. Yes, for a break back. And one nine left. Unlucky. One hundred and twenty. Fifty nine left. So. Favourite to take the leg and level up. Although he has missed opportunities already in this match. 100. Now then. Carl, you require 59. 19 and tops. Just seen Montgomery nail this, no problem. He's having a little bit of a problem with it, or he was. But that first dart at double top was a nice marker for him. And uh, immediately break back time. And now it's advantage McKinstry again. players do have a uh, contrasting history in this competition. We take the averages. Expect those to rise as the match goes on. Both of them have been around about the 100 mark throughout both of their rounds so far. Montgomery up to the final in 2014. Runner-up he was. Street making his debut in this competition. and really come to light in the last couple of years. Yes, Montgomery lost to James Wilson um, in that two inaugural World Trophy, the World Trophy as it is these days. 121. Tower. And uh, nobody had really expected, I think. I think he went into that game as favourite. 132. Uh, moved on to the PDC is uh, a very useful player, Yorkshireman. 140. Can't you require 40? Double top then for McKinstry. Well, not impressive to be honest, that. Nor that. 35. And that's a weak Russia visit. An opportunity for Montgomery as a result. Big chance this. 20 for tops. He's already taken out 60. 32. Oh, I think he just hit the flight there. Carl, you require five. Yes, he did catch the dart that was there in some way, and now an, an opportunity to yeah, rectify matters. He does so. And, uh, Six holds his throw there, takes that 3-2 uh, lead. And uh, this is the last leg before we go for a break. Hans Montgomery will want to win it. it. Does factor into the psyche 80. of these players. It's almost a footballing equivalent of scoring a goal right before half time. Always the best time to score. And so the cliche goes. Would be a fantastic time for McKinstry to break by a similar token. 70. Don't do it with scores like that though. This is up in this leg. And he's going to really hammer home that advantage here. 137. Second time in this leg. He's hit a 137. Come down for the 19 successfully. And 146, a lot of players go for the 19s. Treble 19, treble 19, double 16. I think he's more of a traditionalist, treble 18, tre treble 20, treble 18, double 16. But it's academic anyway now. And 38, but it'll do him. 108, or rather 88 left, 58 scored I should say, not 38. 
So 88 for Montgomery to level up at 3 all. 41. Russia require 88. Oh, good job for Montgomery that Kyle is a long way back in this leg because he's made a little bit of a meal of this finish. Six darts down from 146 and eventually he's got a dart for a double to tie his up. And then across for double ten. And if he's making a meal of it, just remember it is lunchtime folks and in the end he gets it. So three apiece as the players go off for a break and uh, a useful start nothing absolutely spectacular a nice 13 dollars welcome back to Preston and the BDO World Trophy 2018 Ross Montgomery and Kyle McKinstreet opening things up on Sunday afternoon here and it has had the feeling of a Sunday stroll this match so far. It hasn't really got going as we you know it can. These two have been two of the most impressive players in the tournament so far. And their averages in the 80s at the start of this match. Is perhaps not what we were expecting, but that's a little bit more like it from Carl McKinstry. Forty. Ross ranked number eight in the world. Karl McKinstreet number fifteen. Ninety-five. Yes, for the purposes of this tournament, they're seeded six and fourteen, respectively, of course. Uh, Ninety-six. Uh, positions in the uh, rankings, of course, change tournament by tournament. Dependent on results, not just theirs, but those of others, of course. Eighty-five. Eighty-five to take him down to two eighty. All the twos for McGinn Street, and that's why he went the eighteen. There have been a few of those today, and. It's nothing to do with the board. They're flicking. They're actually flicking. They're finding the dart that's already there, an impediment to the passage of the one they intend uh, to, to hit a target. It's more clumsiness than anything else. That's the best place to put the first dart. Eighty-five. Yes, and he's down the line. Darts are not being. Implemented as regularly as uh, so far in this tournament in beating John Worsley and Scott Mitchell. Well, I thought he was excellent. Double 16 here. 83. Russia require 140. 140 would be a big checkout. He's a third of the way there. Two thirds, double 10. Oh, unlucky. Car, you require 16. Good effort by Montgomery. Now then, fraction inside and 4-3 ahead, and no problem. And uh, Eight leg. it's Ross to throw the last first. three legs have gone with throw, just legs three and four are where breaks occurred. It's thus, a very close encounter with McKinstry just... just nosing it really I suppose because he has the advantage of throwing first not in this leg of course but in the game generally and that's his second maximum of the match his eighth of the tournament and it's been followed by a poor visit from Montgomery McKinstry can really fully steal the darts here Hasn't taken advantage as he might have done. One hundred. Four. 
42. And it's um, deadly silent. <laughs> Certainly not a breath of air in the place. Just as well the referee's doing his job. So Montgomery just missed out on 140. He's got a chance here of 160 or did have. 75. Car you require 121. Well, 11 for Bull. Oh, and he knows that's a dreadful mistake. And he's 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 been wayward a number of times. They both have. Uh, thrown perhaps just too many darts. the treble now double 16 he's rectified it brilliantly uh, first dart was poor second and third were excellent absolutely great yeah really good for him Ross Montgomery really good indeed and the legs are just staying on throw it's not been easy for either of these two they're really having to grind this one it uh, has the potential to be a long day should you get the distance, three games in a day. Of course, these players are used to playing floor events where that'll be water off a duck's back, but they'll know they can't expect to play well in every match. They will have to have a match like this at some point. Well, that may or may not be the case. Um... If you're going to win a tour in Germany, you play pretty well throughout it. Uh, but this, the, the winner of this game will admit that he, it, it was scrappy. Certainly it is up to this point. There's nothing what I would call spectacular to recommend it. It started reasonably well. Two 180s in the first three legs. A 13 dart from Montgomery. But it's 63. meandered along since rather than flown. I suppose I think as well, and John, these are two of the, of the real star players left in this tournament, if you want. 100! We've seen such high standards from them already. They, they'll be disappointed to ever really go below a 90 average, which they both are at the moment. 90 average in a couple of our other quarterfinals is probably enough to have a good win, but... It's just a dip. That would liven things up for Montgomery, 170. 100! Yes, certainly receive a rapturous round of applause from those people sleeping in the audience. 100! <laughs> the, the darting equivalent of a cockerel on this Sunday lunchtime. But uh, not to be... Went for two tops, didn't get it. So Montgomery 60. wants 70. Looks like treble 18, is it? No, treble 10. 20 for tops then. Has to move. 50. Doesn't get it. Can't Went inside. And a chance to recover. Or McKinstry. Oh, this throw again, he does! And Ross Montgomery has had darts at double in both of the last two McKinstry legs. And Kyle is just holding on. 121. closer to the winning line we get the more it's likely that McKinstry will make it simply because he has that advantage to throw the onus is on this man and it's darts like this that are going to have to help him at when McKinstry throws first that certainly will help him possibly maybe probably take this 10th leg with a lead of 101 plus these but it's against the darts that Montgomery has got to put in a particular effort 85. well it's not I mean effort in the sense of big scores rather than yeah. straining himself this is a good visit great visit 
Plenty of room in there as well. Leaves himself 161. Montgomery should get this. May even have to use his six darts. But he'll expect to be back. 32. A weak visit from Montgomery. Carl, in truth. You require 160 He's tidy on 83. 161 then. Won't do it. Goes without saying this needs to go for Ross. Yeah, good Ross trouble, 17. If he hits the single 17, he'll look out for the 60. Oh, well, that is now 180. Two double tops. Uh, that's an example 43. of the kind of darts that he's thrown fairly, fairly regularly in this match. McKinstry has been guilty of a few as well. But now McGinstry can, actu can actually steal this. Topsy wants, and if he gets this, Game then that to me player. is the nail in the coffin that almost puts Montgomery out of this competition. Montgomery Game made ball. a mess of what was a winning situation and uh, McKinstry stepped in with a 106 finish. It was as though he could smell the opportunity and he took it quite brilliantly. Killer instinct, wasn't it, from McKinstry? Great darts from the Northern Irishman. And Ross Montgomery now is on the ropes. That's right, the village man. Is in front? No, by six legs. 140! He saw the opportunity and in he went. Brilliant. That's seizing the moment. It hasn't been a brilliant game, but that was a brilliant moment. 83. Montgomery still in semi slumber, one feels. 95. Because he needs two breaks of throw as well as having to hold his own throw. Well, basically, what I'm saying is he's got to win all three legs. That'll help him. That will help him. Another 180 for Montgomery. Puts him in front in this leg, and that's a poor visit from McKinstry. Should get six darts this Montgomery. Might not even need him. No, he wanted the treble 19 for double 18 there. But he's in a very, very good place. But this is for the match. Oh, I once remember a man winning a tournament, not a match with a 170 finish, a certain Colin Lloyd. Uh, but this is not McKinstry's uh, moment. It will possibly come soon, but incumbent on Montgomery to keep his hopes alive by taking out double top here. Double 10, absolutely vital. Yes, he's done it on this occasion. That's his first break of throw since the third leg of the match. And although it in itself doesn't assure him uh, a chance of victory, if he holds his throw here, then it's all nip and tuck on the very last leg. What a great start by Montgomery, who suddenly is fat at about 180s in his last three legs. Well, you mentioned the killer instinct of McKinstry when he had the crucial 42. chance to break. And this is the survival instinct of Ross Montgomery kicking in now. Big scores are coming in from the boss man. Five perfect darts. Make it six. Oh, brilliant stuff from Montgomery from nowhere. He's awoken from his slumber. And he is now on a nine dart finish. One four, one wanted. And what a moment this could be. It'd be the first ever in the World Darts Trophy. It would have been <laughs> the first ever in the World Darts Trophy, but that's a terrific visit, 130. He really wanted the 25 there to leave himself 36, but he's on an 11 dart finish. And then whenever he finishes, whether it be an 11 or 14 or whatever, will take us into the deciding leg. Brilliant darts from Montgomery. He's brought it when he needed to. Game and that is a superb leg of darts. 11 darts, at six perfect darts. We go first. to the decider. And Carl McKinstry has the throw. Ross Montgomery has done all he can to keep himself in it after it looked 
Like he might well have been dead and buried. Yeah, when he went 6 4 down, that 10th leg, it is second 180 of the match. Held sway, missed his opportunity. McKinstry nipped in with a brilliant 106 finish. And since then, it's been Nine Montgomery, six. Montgomery, Montgomery. Sounds like El Alamein, I know, but. Brilliant 11 dart leg. 57. And 257s to open up the final leg from McKinstry. Ross has a chance here. Another one of these, and the leg is his for the taking. As it is, it remains a touch open. He does have the lead, but it's a slim one. 63 ahead, Montgomery. McKinstry. 97. That's the dart he needed. 34 ahead, McGinstry. It's that close, folks. 6-6. Six, six. 100. 2-2-4 two, two, plays 2 9 0. Oh. Who's going to make it into the 96. semi? Cool customer, this fella. Another good treble 19 at the end of that little sequence. Getting that treble like that one could be worth twice its value in a sense as he goes down to one, two, four, seventy in it. He will. That treble. I think that again makes the difference now. Montgomery holding in on the double. Poor dart though, even among some good ones. Hundred left. 44. Will he come back? Carl, you Will he come back? Travel 20 is the requisite. Doesn't get it. Won't finish. Montgomery will need 80. 58. 80 for 80. the match. For a famous victory. He'll have won the last three legs. Having been 6-4 down. Now he wants double top, the biggest double top of this tournament for him. Over the top and McKinstry will Can come for the match now. It's been that close, folks. McKinstry will go for treble 18. Doesn't get it, so 20 and now his turn for tops. That's a great marker over the top 30, of that and it's in, but no. Nerves take their toll 40. and Montgomery tops for the match Game and tops shots. it is and the, the scot goes Russell through Montgomery. an amazing finish to that game really when mckinstry made it 6-4 and was throwing first twice out of three legs i thought he had done enough to win but M montgomery dug deep and how deep he did dig an 11 yeah, thank you very much, John. Ross, big congratulations on getting over the line there. That was a tough match for you. Yeah, very tough. Uh, Kyle's just been a uh, Northern Ireland captain and he's always a hard, hard player to play against. And I think both of us were giving each other too much respect because we practice together, we've travelled together, we meet each other's kids and it's a very difficult match to play against. But thankfully I fell over the line. Was it a bit of a strange one? I know you've enjoyed playing early so far uh, in this competition, played first on both of your matches. It did have the feel of a, a, a bit of a quieter experience in the in the hall this morning. Do you think that played a part in any way towards the start especially? It may have done, yeah. It's, uh, it was a strange one out there today. It was a wee bit noisier yesterday and, and probably the same amount of people, but I think it's just a lazy Sunday attitude, I think. <laughs> And so we threw the last three legs as well because you must you must have been a little bit worried when when Carl took it out to go six four up that you might not get another chance at this one and breaking two of the last three legs to win it was some comeback. Yeah, it was uh, one of probably my best comebacks, one of my best. But when he went six four up, I thought I was I thought I was out. It maybe helped me relax a little bit, and then unfortunately with the the, the, the nine dart I was missed. But uh, I'm quite happy to get through it. I'm, I must thank Kyle for his sportsmanship after the match. And in terms of the, the rest of the day, are you going to take a look at the other the quarter final or are you just going to relax and, and do your own thing? Yeah, I'll probably just relax and do my own thing, mate. Go out for a little walk. I don't know. I'll see what Dorothy wants to do and then we'll decide from there. Sounds like a plan. We look forward to seeing you later on. Congratulations. Thanks very much. Thank you.